Hey, bub. Welcome back to Seek at Night. We have, for the next three episodes, something really cool. We have these blaster boxes from Fleer Ultra, and these were donated by someone who watches the channel. And they insisted, I kept telling them they didn't have to, but they insisted to donate something to the channel for us to open. And at first they were going to get a box of these cards, and I said, don't do that. They're like 260 bucks. If you want, there's a couple blaster boxes that are available. They run $34.99 each on the website from Upper Deck. So I'll put a link to that down below. If you want to get one or two of those for me, then I'll open those and, you know, I'll give you a shout out. And then he said, I don't want a shout out. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. You don't want a shout out. So I'll just say, thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate this very much. And you sent three of them, uh, which I wasn't expecting. One for each claw from Wolverine. So I went ahead and ordered three more to match your donation. And those will be coming in very soon. So we're going to have six total, three claws on each hand. And we're going to open these up because the Deadpool movie is coming out very soon. Deadpool and Wolverine. And I thought it'd be a good time to, you know, focus on some more Wolverine cards because I really liked that box we opened and we had some cool hits in there. So for the next few episodes, we're going to do these. We're going to open these boxes. I already put a little cut at the top of them so I could rip them open carefully. And we're just going to do one box per episode. I know some people are going to be like, dude, that's annoying. Why are you doing that? Well, I want to try some other filming techniques. I want to show off the cards a little bit more. So you're going to see something a little different in this one, hopefully. Uh, so right now you're going to see the same old, same old, some packs opening up, but... In the end, we're going to try to showcase them, get some good shots, you know, glamour shots of the products and stuff. So, again, big shout out to my friend who did this. Really awesome of you. And uh, I, I can't, I just can't thank you enough. I really can't. So, we got three packs, six cards in each pack. That's not bad. 18 cards for $35. Blaster boxes are awesome. I really wish they did some of these for Midnight Suns. I would have happily bought, a, you know, probably 12 of them, <laughs> if not more. Um, but, let's see. Same thing. You get six cards. Your chances are you're going to get a green parallel in each pack. In one of these, you know, in each box, at least the full box, you're going to at least get one gold parallel, which is something that's exclusive to this. And then there's some other fun surprises in here as well. So let's see what those surprises might be. All right, we got a Viper. And this is a new card, I believe, that we don't have. So awesome. Again, I'm trying to complete a base set. Oh, look at that Mystique. Very, very cool. Yeah, she's awesome. I love that. All right. Hey, we got an alias of Dark Phoenix Wolverine. Very cool. That's a great shot of him, too. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, no way. Our first gold really is Sabretooth. That's epic. Oh, that's so good. And these are numbered cards, and they are numbered up to 90. So we got card 66 out of 90 of this Sabretooth. That's a definite cool hit. I love that. And I mean, the color match, right? He's, he kind of has like a yellow tan costume. You got the yellow gold claws in the back parallel. So we're going to sleeve this and keep this in our major hits pile. Because again, of all the characters to get, we got a really solid character. Um, second, really only to Wolverine in this set, because I'm a big Sabretooth fan. And then we got our green parallel, which this one is Wolverine versus Dokken, his son, or Daken. I think some people pronounce it that way too. I don't actually know the real pronunciation of it, so if you do, let me know down below um, if you can type it phonetically <laughs> so I know how to say it. So yeah, Greatest Battles, awesome. And the last card in the set, or in this pack at least, Sebastian Shaw. Another cool card. That's actually a really good shot. Again, these artists are amazing. Like uh, This is uh, Jonathan Kelsch. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, this is cool because some artists might get Sebastian Shaw if they like try to, you know, vie for like, hey, I want to draw Wolverine. I want to draw this. I want to draw that. And they don't get all the characters they want. And maybe one of some of them end up with Sebastian Shaw. Or who knows, maybe this is a character he likes. But let's say it isn't, just for hypothetical. Look at a good job he did. Like, he really sold Sebastian Shaw. That's an amazing piece there. Great, you know, focus on the clothing and everything. It's really, really good. And so I get, you got to say, it's, it's like an actor when they give it their all on a role that most people would, you know, just kind of roll their eyes at or not think is important. These artists are like, hey, you know what? I got Sebastian Shaw, whether I wanted him or not. I'm going to make the coolest Sebastian Shaw drawing that you've ever seen. And that's a really good one. I got to say, it's pretty awesome. All right, so we got a thin card in here. So we might have an EX uh, in this pack. That would be awesome. I wonder what character. Uh, but I'm always wrong when I try to guess the insert. So we'll see. So I got Puck, first card of the second pack. Awesome. Oh, we got that sick Weapon X card. This is just so savage looking. His eyes are kind of soulless. There's red and white in them. He's just gone full berserk. Um, just looks really terrifying. I would not want to see this guy running at me in the wilderness, <laughs> ready to claw my face off for sure. 
Um, oh, cool. Look at that. We got Old Man Logan versus Old Man Hulk. Great comic book. If you haven't read it, it's it's pretty standard for Mark Millar. I'm not a big fan of his writing. He kind of has like three stories he always tells. Like Wanted and Old Man Logan pretty much tell the same story. Villains have taken over the world and someone reluctant kind of has to step up and take them down. It's pretty much the same story, just different beats and characters. But yeah, still fun story to read, though. I'd say pick up Old Man Logan. It's really good. Uh, Snowbird. Great shot of her. Again, an artist could have, you know, no one phoned in their stuff on this. All the cards I've seen so far. And most artists don't, you know, like most actors try not to. Like everyone gives it their all. And I think uh, we're very lucky as fans with this set for how good everyone did on it, for sure. Same with, uh, you know, the Fleer Ultra um, so Midnight Suns. That was an amazing set, too. We got the green parallel on Xavier. Awesome. And let's see what this is. Oh, wait, this is an ultra star of Captain America. Dude. I mean, who better? He wears the stars and stripe on his clothes, dude. That's amazing. So this is a base ultra star. There is a different color. I think a gold version of this only in the hobby boxes. And then these base ones are only available in these packs. So uh, in these blaster boxes. So really, really cool that we got one. And of Captain America, of all people, um, our first comic book that we read as kids, where there was a stack of them. So it's really hard to say which one definitively was our first. But in that stack was a comic book where Wolverine, Captain America, and Black Widow all teamed up. And it was from Uncanny X-Men, drawn by Jim Lee. And that came out like in 1990, I think. And that was among the stack, uh, our, our first stack of comics. So, um, so yeah, we, so whenever I think of Captain America, I always think of those World War II battles with him and Logan and stuff, uh, for sure. So hopefully they'll meet at one point in the MCU, maybe. Um, Thunderbird, great shot. I raved about this picture before. Really cool. Hey, we got a double though, uh, alias. The other one was green. I can't remember. Um, either way, that's a cool shot though. The dark Phoenix Wolverine. Hey, whoa, we got another gold. Are we supposed to get two? I don't remember seeing that. I thought it was just one. Look at that. 18 out of 90. Quentin Choir. So again, like you get a parallel of a character you're not thrilled about, but someone really drew the hell out of this Quentin Choir drawing. Like that's a really good drawing. Um, and when I say somebody, I mean Jonathan Kelsch again. <laughs> just killing it. Uh, so that's cool. All right. Well, that's our other gold one. I didn't know we were going to get two in a box. That's freaking awesome. Um, okay. We got three cards left. Oh, Puck in the medallion. Dude, he's like, he looks like a secret agent in that picture. He's not wearing the Alpha Flight colors, which ah, that's kind of a bummer. I like him when he's kind of wearing like the, the suit that has like only his face cut out of it and stuff. You see it on the back there um, or some of the more Alpha Flight colors. But still, he just looks cool as a spy. He looks sick dressed like this. So awesome. We'll put him over there with our others. And our last two cards. Whoa, we got a green parallel of X-23. And this is Humberto Ramos art. Oh, wait, that's actually the Weapon Hex version of her from uh, when Scarlet Witch, I think, and she had her powers or something. And yeah, from Mount Wondergore, that's really cool. Like, that's awesome that they made that into a card. Really awesome. Like I said, I don't think I've seen anyone open this card. I'm sure they have. I just maybe just didn't notice it. But she is sick looking with that Humberto Ramos. I'm actually going to bag this one or sleeve it real quick. Uh, that's cool. And then our last card out of this little blaster box, Kitty Pride. That's a great shot of her. And this is a more recent one, obviously. This is uh, some of the more recent history of these characters. Some of them are in like the gala event stuff, you know, clothing type thing. Um, although that does feel kind of retro too, like the way they designed that. Um, and they have a great old Kitty Pride and Wolverine comic on the back there from the miniseries. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, these are these cards are fantastic. I love these. And a big shout out to my friend again for donating these. These are amazing. I want to scream your name from the rooftops, but obviously you don't want me to, which is fine. But I do want to match your energy. And like I said, I'm glad you got these three boxes for us so we can make three videos. And I'm going to order three more. I already did order three more and they'll be here very soon. So we'll have six videos coming out before and leading up to and during and after Deadpool and Wolverine releases in theaters. So make sure you go see that because spoilers are probably going to be everywhere. I'll do my best not to post any till after the weekend. But if you can get out there, please do. And I'll definitely have a review of that movie coming up very soon. And hopefully you enjoyed our style of this. This was kind of Blue's idea. He was like, you know, you used to do glamour shots of old comic books and uh, you know, omnibus and stuff when you did other videos. And, and he kind of had me do that with our Moon Knight one recently. So he's like, you should do that with some of these cards. Show them off more, you know, kind of show off the product more and not the, just them in your hands and stuff. And I said, you know, 
it's a good idea. So hopefully you enjoyed that. You know, let me know what you think of that kind of editing. If you feel it's necessary, if you don't, whatever. I think we're going to keep doing it for at least these blaster boxes. And we're going to try to keep these videos short, maybe around 10 minutes. So let me know what you think of these. And if you like this video, please subscribe and we'll have more videos for you very soon. And also again, shout out to my friend and Upper Deck for selling these. I'll put a link down below. If you want to buy some of these blaster boxes, you can buy them directly from Upper Deck right now, but they should also hit retail stores soon at Walmarts and Targets. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you on Asteroid M. Peace.